Hey, uh, this chicken little carnivore here. My, my hair looks fucking amazing today. So that picture you saw was taken about, uh, I guess a year and a half ago or something. Wow, man. Just absolutely wow. I was so fat. So fat. Want to see how fat? Uh, here it comes. Now, I got to tell you, that, that right there, holy cow, man. Holy cow, I was fat. I was so fat. I literally could not bend over to tie my shoes. I couldn't bend over to put my boots on. I had to sit down in a chair. I bent over uh, a couple days ago at work, and it just re I just realized I I'm actually bending all the way over and touching the ground. Wow. Is carnivore worth it? I don't know, is it? No, I think I'll let you be the judge. You be the judge. Is carnivore worth it? I mean, for me personally, it's worth it. It's worth every last second of it. I mean, holy cow, man. That's... That's substantial. I could suck it all the way in, but even just letting it be right there, man. Holy cow. Is carnivore worth it? Now, now I'm not completely 100% carnivore. Like I had uh, mushrooms and, and onions last night with my sausage. The sausage had cheese in it. Okay, so I'm not, you know, I'm not extremely strict. I have a little ice cream. I have a little Greek yogurt, all right? And if that makes you click off, well, okay. I don't care. I don't care. This, this is to document my journey, my carnivore journey. Interesting things going on in my life. And by the way, I'm a very interesting individual. So <laughs> you, you might want to subscribe because I come up with some wild shit, man. Uh, you know... I got to say that this carnivore journey has truly changed my life, my entire life. I've spoken before about how I, I used to think about death. I don't think about death anymore. I think about what's next in life, right? That's just amazing to me. And hey, check out uh, these pictures that my, my, uh, my daughter did for me for my carnivore channel. I think they're pretty cool, right? Yeah, I really like, uh, I really like the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex chicken. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to add some blood, you know, blood dripping down all over him and stuff. I've already said it as my profile picture uh, and on TikTok too. But when I get the blood on there, oh man, that's going to be awesome, right? So, uh, yeah, you know, I, is the carnivore journey worth it? Is it worth it to just, just eat meat, man, and eat a lot of meat? My muscle mass has grown. Uh, I sent the picture, uh, pictures to my daughter, and she's like, Dad, your arms are bigger. I'm like, I know, I know. My, my, my chest muscles are bigger. Um, that's all the protein. You know, and the fat loss is coming from eating fat, eating lots of fat. Like, like when I cooked my sausages and mushrooms and onions last night, I cooked them in an entire stick of butter, uh, of Kerrygold, actually, because that's like the best butter ever. And so uh, it's, you know, it, is it worth it? It's worth it to me. You know, I mean, I, I've sent this picture to a lot of people. Uh, that are fat. They, they are clinically obese in my family. Hey, if it works for me, it'll work for you, but you got to do it. You got to do it and you got to stick to it. Why not? Why not do it and stick to it? That's the question. And last, I'd like to point out that... Um, You know, my channel is about a lot of things, a lot of things, and I, I have fun with it. 
Now, if you don't, if, if you have sensitive ears and you can't stand the word fuck, well, I'm sorry. Well, actually, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry for you. All right. Um, if you're a Karen, you're more than welcome to be on my channel being a Karen. But when you leave comments, like the one Karen left, Miss Elizabeth, you're going to get a response video highlighting you and your comment. Because we don't, we don't have time for Karens in the carnivore world. Okay, we have time for realism. I, I did a video on God being a carnivore. The God of the Jews, the God of the, the Christians is a carnivore. All right? That motherfucker's definitely a carnivore. That's exactly what I said in the video. And I meant that. Because um, I believe in God. I mean, the Bible says we don't have any excuse. Nature itself shows us that there is a God. So there is no excuse for humanity to not believe in a higher power, an infinite authority, an infinite intelligent intelligence, an ultimate authority, a creator of the universe, a creator of you and me, a creator of everything. You know, do we live on a flat earth uh, with a dome above us? I don't know. Is space real? I don't think so. I think it's something to do with something like water. Okay? And, and you know, investigate these things. Check them out for yourself. Because like I've said time and time and time again, if they're going to lie to us about something as basic and simple as food, food, what else are they lying about? That's the real question. What else are they lying about? Because they damn sure are lying about food. Yeah, that's my puppy. She doesn't like it when I'm talking to the phone at all. <laughs> You know, she's like, hey, hey, I'm down here. Pay attention to me. So anyway, this is Chicken Little, and uh, that's today's video, man. I'm out.